All right, so you've clicked on mods. Now this is a fully functional three by three by five. It's the very first mod that I've ever done myself. Um, I used CB Cube's tutorial that he learned from, I think, Smaz or something like that. I think it was Smaz, I'm not sure, but on how to make this. And it's just made out of two cubes and it was pretty easy. It was my first one, so it was really, really uh, exciting for me to, to get this. As soon as I put it together after I'd built all the pieces and, and did my first shape-shifting moves, uh, I was really, really excited at the time. So it's a really cool one. This will stay with me forever. All right, the next one is tripooms um three no five by five by five shape shifting one now i didn't know if i should add this into tripooms collection with the morphix puzzles that i've already shown um or maybe not shown that you haven't seen yet i'm not sure which order you click things in but um but you know what because he didn't actually build this for me he just you know made it and and then i recreated it uh, i figured that i would just keep it in the mod section um but this one is really, really cool. I mean, it, not only does it like act as a cuboid, which is really weird because cuboids are always like n by n by m, which means that you've got one number by one number by a completely different number, like a three by three by five, n by n by m, if that makes sense, or p, n by n by p, or whatever they say it is. But uh, this one's cool because it can shape shift, and now this whole section is bandaged together and and that's what's really appealing about it to me um it wasn't very difficult to solve that's for sure only because i'm experienced in cuboids but this one um is really really cool and it's going to stay in my collection forever as well all right so next we have the ghost cube this is made out of a ghost hand which is fitting because it's a ghost cube and what a ghost cube is is it's a cube that's built turned and then the pieces are shape modded and it's kind of built off an axis like this which means you can only turn these ones like this and you can't turn anything else and you have to actually line line these things up out of alignment like this before you can make another turn and that way it's very difficult to solve because you can't do F2L and also um, you're going by complete shapes no colors no nothing every piece is pretty much exactly where it needs to go every single time you cannot swap pieces around um, or anything it's it's a very very difficult puzzle but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it that's for sure all right the next one is a 4x4 ghost cube now this one is made out of a sheng sha 4x4 version 4 this one is extremely nice turning this has uh, got to be out of my hand mods probably the the smoothest turning um, that's i guess that's debatable though but again it's built off center so you would have to turn it like this so this comes and then you turn it like that and then you can turn it like this and now we can make more turns so it's extremely shape-shifting now this one actually wasn't too hard to solve I, I got it right away it's it's all a matter of memorization it's um, memorization and organization it's it's not too bad actually it's one of my favorite puzzles the next one is unsolved it is the 5x5 five five professor ghost cube now this one is flawlessly made there is it's so well made um, but the turning on the 4x4 is a little bit smoother, I have to say. Now, this one is not solved because I haven't solved it yet. I've had it for, I think, around a month or so. And I almost had it solved. I had it, I had it you know, put back into the 3x3 three three stage. And as I was doing it, I made a, a move in my algorithm. And it, it wrecked an edge. And as I was putting my edge in, it wrecked the center. And then it just kind of spiraled from there. And I had to, I had to start again. So... Um, it hasn't been solved yet, <laughs> and it's very, very difficult, I will say. All right, the next two are unfinished mods, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this in the backgrounds of some of my videos because I've had it in the backgrounds. And what this is is it's a half-proportional or unproportional 3x3x5. Three by three by so it's sort of like this, but these are all proportional cubies, except for this one, it's a big, then a half, then a big, then a half, then a big. And I've basically cut it and filled it into a hexagonal die pyramid now it's a little bit weird because these long sides and here's a short side and that's sort of how it looks it's a very odd looking puzzle um, I'll put it in a checkerboard let me make sure that I'm doing this right hold up <laughs> okay put it in a checkerboard pattern so you can see how it looks so this is some of the shape shifting that will go on when I'm done and then you can start bandaging 
the puzzle as you can see. So it's really going to get into a bunch of really cool shapes when I'm done with it. And the fact is, is that I start a lot of mods and I don't finish them because I'm lazy. Um, or I get to a part that's really difficult and I get scared I'm going to ruin it. So I don't want to continue until I've got more practice. But this is very easy. All I got to do is just kind of make this into a, a more of a point and, and just sand it more and spray it and sticker it and it's done. I don't know why I don't continue. This one here is going to be a one by three by four soap bar that I made. And um, I guess it's okay to tell people what it is already. The thing is, is that these two centers here are so, um, I don't know, they're, they're, you can't shape mod them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend everything in an oval shape here. And same with the other side, as you can see, I've glued these together. This is made out of a, an MF8 two by three by four turned into a one by three by four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an extension, an oval shape on both sides, and then I'm just gonna round it all, just like a bar of soap. And then I'm gonna sticker it. And that's gonna be Crazy Bad Cubers one by three by four soap bar. So that's gonna be really nice. So now you can go up here and click um, the annotation to go back and watch some more.